Yo, what the fuck's good? It's Spyro. How we fucking doing? So, I've just dropped my brand new EP, the Fuck Reverse Bass EP on Lethal Theory. So, if you haven't got that yet, go and get it now. So, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make the donk bass sound. Now, the donk bass is one of the key sounds of the EP. You hear it either on its own or layered with hard style kicks to make a reverse bass type sound. So, today we're going to see how you make the goddamn donk. So, this is the donk we're going to make, bitch. Ow. So first thing, let's load up a serum. So for oscillator A, we're going to use the analog BD sim wavetable. We're going to put unison on 7. Put the detune on 0.27. Blend at 75 and turn random all the way down to 0. Because we want the sound to play exactly the same every single time it plays. I'm gonna put wavetable on 187 and set warp to FM from oscillator B. And final thing, we're gonna drop it down one octave. Now for oscillator B, we're gonna use the FM3 wavetable. Again, we're gonna have unison on seven and detune to 0.29. Leave blend at 0.75 and turn random all the way down to zero again. Wavetable position, we're gonna have that at 84. Leave warp off and we're gonna turn the level all the way down because we're only using it to FM oscillator A. We don't actually wanna hear this oscillator ourselves. We're also going to turn on the noise oscillator. I'm going to use the J106 HP Cho sound. Turn the level all the way down. So now it's time to do the envelopes. So for envelope one, we're going to have the attack at 6.9. Hold on zero. Decay 995 milliseconds. Sustain minus 47.2. And release 108. We're going to use this envelope to control a few different things. Now for envelope 2, this is only going to control the white noise level. So attack on 0 0.5, hold 0, decay 116, put sustain on 0, and keep the release at 15. So it's a super short envelope. So let's do some goddamn modulation. So firstly, we're going to put that onto oscillator A, detune. We'll have that at minus 41. Right, we're going to turn the FM up to 36, but we're going to drag the envelope 1 onto there as well and put that to 18. Have oscillator B, we're going to drag it onto the detune and have that on minus 31. So you can see we're starting to get that donk resonant kind of tone, but we still need to shape the sound some more. So next we're going to put on a filter. Uh, just before we do that, we need to control the noise level. So we're going to drag envelope two onto the noise oscillator and drag that down to four. So it just creates like a small tap. So let's shape the sound some more. So we're going to put on a filter. We're going to keep it on MG low 12. Now we're going to put a cutoff down to zero and drag envelope one onto it. And we're going to have that on 70. So now it sounds like... And we're going to make sure the filter is affecting both oscillators A and B. So one more thing, we need to put oscillator B up one octave. So next we're going to put on the compressor, we're going to switch on multiband, leave the threshold at minus 18.1, leave ratio at 4.1, leave attack at 90, leave release at 90, and put the gain up to 10. So now we sound like... So as you can hear, it brings out some of the elements of the sound and makes it a bit more aggressive, a bit more present. So now it's time for the additional effects. So firstly, we're going to use EQ. We're doing a bit of low cutting at 132. A little dip at 150 just to get rid of some of those muddy lower mids. And a big high shelf at 1.4 kilohertz. So next, we're going to put on the Vengeance Multiband Compressor. I'm going to use the Dance Master 2 preset at 79%. 
So as you can hear now, the sound's really starting to get a lot more aggressive and sound a lot more how we want it to. Now, if you don't have Vengeance multiband compressor, you can use Ableton's OTT or the XR OTT also. So we're going to put on another EQ here. So doing something similar to what the first EQ was doing. This is because the Vengeance multiband has brought up the bass again, which we don't want. <laughs> Now we're starting to get a really aggressive, powerful donk sound. So at the end of the chain, I'm going to use the Oxford Inflator. We're going to crank the effect up to 55. This adds some saturation and makes it sound fatter and warmer. So at the moment, our donk sounds like... Which is pretty good, but it still sounds a little bit digital, a bit too clean. So there's one final thing we're going to do. So I put Ableton's Bitcrusher Redux into a wet and dry rack. Put a down sample to 14. Now, if that was on 100%, it would sound like... Which is obviously way too much and sounds horribly nasty. So we're just going to dial it down to 22%. Which allows just a bit of that dirt to come through and give the sound a lot more character and also a lot more aggression, but without totally ruining it. So with it off, with it on, loads more character, loads more aggression, and most importantly, when it's in the mix, it's going to cut through a lot better. Especially when you've got it next to something really hard, like a hardcore kick, it needs to be able to compete with that sound. So, final donk. Now you're a goddamn donk expert just like me. Boom! S P Y R O B H.